I'm Foster Provo. I'm a professor at the NYU Stern School of Business. We're here today because I wrote a book. It's called Data Science uh, for Business. One of the things we do in the book is we try to continually have uh, real business examples to illustrate the various points. So we have an example of whiskey analytics. So I was at uh, dinner. One of my dining mates suggested a particular scotch, Bonhaben, which I had never had before. Uh, and I had it and I loved it. And so I went to the store to try to find a bottle of Bunnahabin to, to take home the, a few days later and I couldn't find Bunnahabin and then I said, well, what, what other scotch would be like Bunnahabin? This is actually just a, a similarity search problem. And so we went and we got, it turned out that some researchers had uh, actually taken a scotch tasting notes book uh, and pulled out uh, a lot of data on each of the scotch and particularly data on what the scotches tasted like. Right? And so now if I want to find scotches that taste similar, I have data on the tastes of the scotch. And so we showed, we illustrated similarity search by finding sc the scotches that were most similar to Bunnahabin, right? And then once you understand similarity, there's a bunch of other things that you, you can do. You can cluster objects together by what objects are most similar, and you can classify things. And so we also showed how to build a whiskey classification by taking the next step up and clustering whiskeys that taste the same. Netflix uh, had a very famous contest where it offered a million dollars to people who could uh, improve its recommendations. The idea of making recommendations uh, one of the most common ways is essentially to apply the same idea in whiskeys, but apply it to customers. So if I liked a particular set of movies, uh, well, why don't you find people who are similar to me, and similar to me specifically with respect to my taste in movies. And so if I know all the movies that I've watched, I've chosen to watch, that reveal some of my preferences. And if I've rated the movies, even better because maybe I've given some thumbs up and th some thumbs down. So now I have data on my preferences and I have data on a lot of other people's preferences. And so I can find the people who are most similar in terms of taste and then I can use those people and find things that they have liked but I've never considered to make uh, recommendations. Mm -hmm.